What should Yuxiagang, the scumbag who regenerated his teenage talent trash in pseudo-infatuation, do? Yu Xiaojiang said not to panic. Natural talent. He he, the current Dugubutsai soul emperor, the top ten immortal products are all from me. This is the inheritance left by the ice and fire dragon kings to the dragon clan. The bones have been boiled and drunk. Luo San Pao, let's go crazy and transform. The awakening of the golden holy dragon's martial soul, the first soul ring of a thousand years. Wait, blue silver emperor Ian hasn't met Tang Hao yet. Is Xiaowu's mother preparing to transform her into a human with her? Because time travel changed the plot, it led to a comprehensive version of the mainland elite soul master competition for sex, families, colleges, and sea soul masters, with ten soul bones as rewards, making it even more popular and exciting. Emperor Tian Why did the predecessors of the Dragon King pass on the inheritance of the Dragon Clan to a human? Twenty years later, Yu Xiaojiang, who had become a god, smiled faintly and said, from now on, I will be jointly respected by the Divine Realm and the Soul Beast Realm. Who agrees and who opposes me? This book is also known as Doluo. Opening conquers the eyes of ice and fire, rebirth of Yu Xiaojiang what to do, is it difficult to unify the Soul Beast Realm and the Divine Realm? Stage Names Battle Dragon, Dragon King Action, Hello, Yu Xiaojiang, Wandering Doluo, Holy Dragon of Dolua Descends, Introduction 2. In that year, Bibi Dong, Lu Erlong, Tang Yuehua, and Blue Silver Emperor were still young girls, while Xiaowu's mother had not yet fallen and Xiaowu had not yet taken shape, that year, Tang Hao, Fran De, Zhao Wuji, Ning Fengji, Yan Wudi and others were still young, and the soul Saint Dugu Bo had not yet found the ice and fire two eyes. To deceive Tang Hao, he took out his sex inherited soul bones and participated in the competition, causing it to also roll up keywords of the novel. Doluo. Me. The Golden Holy Dragon King has no pop dot up window, Doluo. Me. Download the complete set of Golden Dragon King TXT, Doluo. Me. The latest chapter reading of the Golden Holy Dragon King. Chapter 1. Beginning of Hell, Rebirth of 18. Year. Old Yu Xiaojiang. New book request. You are listening at novel full. Audio. Chapter 1. Beginning of Hell, Rebirth of 18. Year. Old Yu Xiaojiang. New book for collection, Donger. Goodbye. A voice full of endless despair and indignation gradually dissipated in my mind. But then, someone with a cold and resentful voice came. Waste. Originally, for the sake of that old friend Yu Yu Engine, I have been enduring you for a long time. But you shouldn't have died repeatedly, even abducted Donger and eloped with you. For the future of her and the Martial Soul Hall, you have to die. Who is shouting in my ear? Yu Xiaojiang heard it inexplicably and angrily cursed, feeling a splitting headache. He rubbed his temples, relieving the pain of a hangover while struggling to open his eyes and look around. Yu Xiaojiang gradually regained her senses and realized that there was no one around her. She lay in a secluded classical alley, with morning mist drifting and the sun shining on the horizon before sunrise. He frowned. Isn't I in the bar at Giankyo? Did those fox friends get me drunk and throw me outside? Sigh, before he could finish speaking, there was another severe pain in his head, as if his head had been pried open and a large bucket of molten iron had been forcefully poured in. Heavy, hot, swollen and painful, my head almost explodes. A few seconds later, Yu Xiao just froze did I cross over. And, crossing over into the wasteful Yu Xiaojiang in Dolua continent. He lowered his head and saw that the Armani suit he had rented was missing, replaced by a luxurious light blue robe. The memory that surged through my head just now reappeared. A few days ago, news came from the Blue Electric Tyrannosaurus Rex family, and many elders jointly decided to reduce the resources of Yu Xiaojiang in the family, exclude the main family, and even remove him from the list. The Martial Soul Hall learned that the elders who were already dissatisfied with him would also drive out Yu Xiaojiang, 
who was studying and researching theories in the Marshall Soul Hall. The family and the Marshall Soul Hall can't stay any longer. Fortunately, St. Bibi Dong of the Marshall Soul Hall is a gentle, kind, and considerate woman who is willing to elope with Yu Xiao Jiang. Last night was the agreed time, but instead of waiting for her to embrace and embrace, it was Pope Chihiro's own assassination attempt. Mad surprisingly, it's different from the original work. Yu Xiao Jiang, this scumbag, was assassinated by Qiang Sunji. I happened to get drunk and then cross over to such a useless body. Yu Xiao Jiang finally understood and felt a little emotional in her heart. When Tang San travels through time, he has a father named Dolua, a mother of a 100,000 year soul beast, a growing 100,000 year soul beast wife waiting for him, and twin martial souls, but I will regenerate Yu Xiao Jiang, and the difference should not be too big. However, at least he found a life. Moreover, in the previous life, there was not much difference between myself and Yu Xiao Jiang, a useless material. In the next moment, Yu Xiao Jiang's gaze became sharp. In my previous life, I lived so miserably that I wasted many opportunities in vain. This guy and I can also be considered to be in the same boat. Since we have regained a new life in him, both his body and I should start over and live a brand new future. Yuxiagang has just died, but Yuxiagang should be living better. Besides, Yu Xiaojiang has just died and the threat is not there. Kiang Sunji's Chamber of Secrets Dolua shouldn't be in a hurry to forcibly occupy Bibi Dong's body, should he? In this way, Yu Xiaojiang can also be considered as a waste. The body gave him a new life and saved Bibidong's poor life. Yu Xiao just stood up and patted the dust off her body. Ha! Huh. I'll wipe it, soul power is only level 9. Walking on the street, Yu Xiaojiang discovered that the soul power cultivation of this body was only at the peak of level 9, less than level 10. He's already 18 years old. Yu Xiaojiang is about to cry without tears. Boss, would you like a bowl of dragon saosho? Well, it doesn't seem like it's available, so why don't you have any breakfast? Yu Xiaojiang found a small restaurant, ordered breakfast, and prepared to turn grief and anger into appetite, while carefully pondering the future in her heart. He has read the original works and animations of Dolua Continent, and still remembers that Yu Xiaojiang's innate soul power is half level. Generally speaking, soul masters have the fastest cultivation speed before the age of 20, and Shrek Academy requires students to break through the level 40 soul sect at the age of 20. The mainland elite soul master competition requires a minimum age of 25, with most soul masters being mid to late stage soul masters and less than 1.3 being soul masters. From this, it can be seen that the average cultivation speed of a soul master before the age of 20 and before the soul sect is about 2 years to reach level 3. Upgrading to level 2 per year is considered above average and sufficient to participate in the soul master preliminary competition. Being promoted to level 3 a year is definitely a top talent, and Shrek 7 Monsters barely met this standard when he enrolled. Shrek recruits students under the age of 12, who are genius soul masters who have awakened their martial souls and practiced for 6 years. They must reach level 20 or above. Including the 6 or 7 levels of innate awakening, and even the 7 or 8 levels of soul power, it is equivalent to an increase of 2.5 levels in a year, truly a genius. Yu Xiao Jiang, with his innate half-level trash talent, can improve by 9 levels in 12 years, which is actually not too slow. He was able to say the words there are no useless martial souls, only useless soul masters, and the theories he researched and organized have reached the limit of his abilities, and his will is also very firm. Unfortunately, Yu Xiaojiang still remembers that more than 20 years later in the original work, when he recruited Tang San, he was still at the peak of level 29 cultivation and was completely blocked. His own cultivation state proves that the ambitious words he said were poisonous chicken soup. Natural talent is ultimately innate, and it is difficult for human beings to change on their own, they can only rely on their own strength. Yu Xiaojiang's plan is to become an immortal. 
Yu Xiaojiang in the original work later broke free from the shackles and became the sole lord of the Third Ring, thanks to the ninth grade purple mushroom given by Tang San. When Tang Sancheng became a god, he had already broken through to the soul sect. Ice and Fire Two Eyes I must find the immortal product of the Ice and Fire Two Eyes and undergo a transformation. The ninth grade purple mushroom is not strong enough, it's only a half step fairy grade. I want the real fairy grade. Since this Dolua world has arrived, how can I behave like a person? Yu Xiaojiang thought to himself, his eyes showing a determined expression, his teeth clenched tightly, and he bit the egg in his hand that he had forgotten to shell, making a clattering sound. The landlady who was not far away preparing to collect money was left with lingering fear. However, the question is, with my garbage strength, how can I go to Sunset Forest and find those immortals? It is so difficult to obtain the hope of rising despite knowing it. How helpless it was when I saw the goddess in my past life. Yu Xiaojiang drinks the vegetable leaf kanji in the bowl, swallows the whole egg, and sighs with the bowl in his hand. The nearby boss wanted to come over and collect money, but was stopped by the boss's wife. Wait. The current time point is 20.30 years ago when Tang San was wearing more and more clothes in the original work. That is to say, the current Dugu Bo is very likely not yet a title Doluo. I have a much greater chance of obtaining immortal products. Yu Xiaojiang's face lit up with joy, but then she remembered that Dugu Bo in the original work had been stuck in the title Doluo for many years. At this moment, Dugu Bo, even if he is not a title Doluo, should still be a soul Doluo, and the most useless is also a high dot level soul saint. Facing the title Doluo with your own level 9 soul power is not much different from facing the advanced soul saint. Fake Squid Unable to defeat the enemy, only able to gain wisdom. Boss, your kanji is as thin as rice soup, and your face is clearly reflected. A bowl of copper soul coins is too expensive. So, two copper soul coins and three bowls. I'm not afraid to tell you, I'm a soul master, and I'm the third ring soul lord. In the future, when I become a bandolua, your small shop will become famous. The copper soul coins I gave you are worth at least one gold soul coin, no, ten. The voice of a young man in the shop brought the contemplative Yu Xiao back to her senses. He also sounds a little sore, this guy is too shameless. It's normal to haggle when buying things, but he also haggles when he drinks a bowl of kanji. What strange miser. And, by listening to this voice, I'm at least in my twenties. I'm only the sole lord of the third ring, and I still want to become a title Dolua in the future. Do you want to laugh me to death so that I can inherit this second dot hand body? Boss Fu, don't say anything. A young girl's voice reached Yu Xiaojiang's ears. Who? Yu Xiaojiang's body shook and suddenly turned back. P.S. The author is a seasoned expert, with guaranteed character. We strive for collection, recommendation tickets, and positive reviews, especially after reading. We try not to keep books, as it affects the recommendation of new books. Thank you to all readers. Post another second edition introduction. That year, Bibi Dong, Lu Erlong, Tang Yuehua, and Blue Silver Emperor were still young girls, while Xiaowu's mother had not yet fallen and Xiaowu had not yet taken shape, that year, Tang Hao, Fran De, Zhao Wuji, Ning Fengji, Yan Wudi and others were still young, and the sole Saint Dugu Bo had not yet found the ice and fire two eyes. Although Yu Xiaojiang has regenerated talent trash and a pseudo-infatuated scumbag, he said that I am myself and aspire to become the troublemaker and king of the Dolua continent. At the beginning, devouring multiple immortal items, super ice and fire quenching body, the bones of the ice and fire dragon king are all boiled in soup and drunk. Luo San Pao, go crazy and transform. I am the king of the dragon king. To deceive Tang Hao, he took out his sect's inherited soul bones to participate in the competition. Let the competition also roll up, so that everyone has the confidence to win the championship, and they all took out advanced soul bones to participate. 
the Seven Treasures Glass Sect and the Heavenly Doe Royal Family have expressed that they do not have soul bones. Can 5 million gold soul coins and the vast Si Chinkuan cover be used? The Soul King Level 7 Holy Pillars of Sea God Island came upon hearing the wind, lined up with a row of soul bones, and we are going to compete. End of this chapter. Chapter 2 Greedy Flender Explosive Willow Erlong New Book Collection Requested You are listening at NovelFull.audio Chapter 2 Greedy Flender Explosive Willow Erlong New Book Seeking Collection and Positive Reviews Upon hearing the girl's voice, Yu Xiaojiang suddenly turned back. I saw a pair of men and women sitting on the table outside. The man was in his early twenties, with fluffy hair and a beard growing anxiously, like a middle-aged man, which suddenly raised his appearance age by at least ten years. Especially a pair of eye-dot-catching glasses, placed on the bridge of the nose. Who is it, not Fran? Yu Xiaojiang just glanced at him and then looked at the girl beside him. The girl is sixteen or seventeen years old, with a high ponytail, red lips and white teeth, but not simply beautiful, but a heroic and heroic demeanor. Wearing a fiery red dress, she felt like a blazing fire burning, making people want to get close for warmth, but not too close. Looking at the two of them, Yu Xiaojiang's eyes lit up. Judging from their time, appearance, and previous address, aren't these two people Franned and Lu Erlong? If you're really dozing off, you'll get a pillow and an opportunity to obtain an immortal product. Isn't that why you're here? Firstly, Fran can fly. Moreover, three people can work together to perform the rare fusion technique of three martial souls, the Golden Holy Dragon. Yes. The ninth grade purple mushroom in the original work still did not allow Luo San Pao to fully evolve successfully. But if I get the help of immortals, I will definitely be able to evolve it into the Golden Holy Dragon. Frand and Lu Erlong must obediently listen to me. I want to infiltrate their inner world like Yu Xiao Jiang in the original work. Just as Yu Xiao thought of this, she quickly got up and took out a golden soul coin from the Soul Guide 24 bridges under the bright moon night. She bent her finger and flicked it to the shop owner. Boss, bring us a table of good wine and dishes. It's my treat. He sat at the table of Frand and Lu Erlong while speaking. Upon hearing that someone was treating him and he was generous, Fran's eyes lit up. Lu Erlong, on the other hand, stared at Yu Xiaojiang with a slightly wary gaze and frowned slightly, saying, Why are you treating us to dinner? Ha ha ha, we are both fallen people from the ends of the earth. Why did we meet before? Yu Xiaojiang chuckled. The travelers are all plagiarism monsters, but among Dolua Tongren, almost no one does so. Yu Xiaojiang feels that this is a loss. Even though people in this world may not have much literary talent, the poetry that has been passed down through the ages is basically simple, easy to understand, catchy, and can instantly attack the soul. Sure enough, Lu Erlong's eyes lit up as soon as he heard these words. At the same time, I also remembered my miserable background, not even knowing who my father was. The young man in front of me, when he said these words just now, had an indescribable sense of desolation in his laughter. Perhaps he is truly a fallen person who shares the same fate as himself. Lu Erlong's impression of Yu Xiaojiang immediately became profound. Previously, when reading the original work, Yu Xiaojiang also had some doubts. In the original work, Yu Xiaojiang's middle-aged appearance was very ordinary, and he should have been similar when he was young, not a handsome guy. Not to mention talent, it can't be any more trash. Why do Bibi Dong, who is naturally gifted, noble in status, beautiful and kind, and Lu Erlong, who has a hot personality, love him deeply? Just because he's a data organizer. There must be other important things. Yu Xiaojiang, however, did not know that after crossing over to Yu Xiaojiang's body, he also inherited this advantage from him. Fran helped his eyes and looked at Yu Xiaojiang in surprise. He thought this was some wealthy playboy, but he didn't expect to say such profound words. 
A golden soul coin is the monthly expenses of an ordinary family. Yu Xiaojiang has just made a bold move, and the small shop sells food and drinks quickly. Brother, my name is Fran. This is my sworn sister Lu Erlong whom I met. I don't know your name yet. Fran held his glass and toasted and inquired with Yu Xiaojiang. Yu Xiaojiang. It's not about being small in size, but knowing Xiao. After Yu Xiaojiang spoke up, she quickly explained. However, he saw that Fran and Lu Erlong's expressions remained unchanged and he was not surprised, and it was then that he suddenly realized. In the original work, Yu Xiaojiang, who was in his youth, was not well known. Or rather, the shame of the Yu Xiaojiang family was deliberately concealed by the Blue Electric Tyrannosaurus Rex family. He was sent to the Martial Soul Hall, probably because the sect was out of sight and out of mind. Later, when he traveled with Fran and Lu Erlong, he probably didn't reveal his identity. Similarly, Lu Erlong's martial soul is a fire dragon, while Yu Xiaojiang's martial soul is a farting pig named Luo Sanpao. Both sides have mutated martial souls, and there is a huge gap between them and the blue electric Tyrannosaurus Rex martial souls. This is why we don't know about the relationship between our cousins, which leads to a deep love and painful separation between the two sides. Erlong, a great name. Yu Xiaojiang raised her wine glass and after touching Fran, she also clinked her glass with Lu Erlong and exclaimed in admiration. Lu Erlong rolled his eyes and drank the wine in one gulp, revealing his snow.white neck. The wine overflowing from the corner of the mouth dripped down the chin onto the chest and flowed into the groove. With a snap, Lu Erlong put down his wine glass before giving Yu Xiaojiang a disdainful glance and asking, What's good about my name? Fran quickly poured wine for Lu Erlong, with a teasing smile on his face, and looked at Yu Xiaojiang. He knows his younger sister very well, with a fiery and fiery personality. His fists look delicate and tender and he is straightforward when it comes to hitting people. In the half year since we met, Fran has seen many instances of Lu Erlong beating up teenagers who had ulterior motives towards her. I have a good impression of her, but I dare not express it, so I can only choose to moisten things silently. However, before the slightest drizzle fell on her, it was evaporated by her fiery personality. Sai in Fran's view, Yu Xiaojiang was just another guy who relied on wealth but had rough and klitsch AD methods of picking up girls. After eating and drinking this meal, both sides parted ways, happily. Yu Xiaojiang looked at Lu Erlong. During his teenage years, Lu Erlong's temper was still fierce, but more of it was the girl's playfulness and boldness, not the kind of menopausal frenzy twenty years later. Moreover, it can make Yu Xiaojiang, who has been compared to Dong in the original work for beauty and has been nurtured for many years, move on to another love, and Lu Erlong's appearance is definitely the top choice. Yu Xiaojiang explained with a smile, dragons are very powerful soul beasts. One is enough, not to mention that you are the second dragon. Lu Erlong frowned and tightened his fingers as he held the wine glass tightly. Frand almost burst out laughing and gave some nonsensical reasons. Is this guy looking for a fight? But he was also a bit worried. Lu Erlong couldn't control his fist and beat this guy up. I haven't eaten much of this meal yet. If I hit someone, it's difficult to continue eating. He didn't expect that Yu Xiaojiang would continue without any concern, moreover, I see that you have a fiery personality. According to my research, the personality of soul masters is closely related to martial souls. If I'm not mistaken, your martial soul also has a fire attribute. Ha! Huh. Fran and Lu Erlong were both stunned, looking at Yu Xiaojiang with some surprise. Plus your slender yet explosive body. I guess your martial soul is likely a very powerful beast martial soul. Yu Xiaojiang stared at Lu Erlong and confidently said, combined with my previous speculation, I am very confident that your martial soul is a fire dragon. So, I said your name is very good and very relevant to you. After he finished speaking, Lu Erlong and Fran were both somewhat stunned. Looking at Lu Erlong's surprised and colorful eyes, 
Fran felt anxious and quickly said, Did you happen to say that? The Earth Dragon Soul of the White Armored Earth Dragon sect is also very powerful and has an irritable personality, which greatly promotes the body. Before Fran could finish speaking, Yu Xiao Jiang gave him a white glance and interrupted, With the White Armored Earth Dragon Martial Soul, even a woman would not have a waist circumference lower than three feet. She couldn't escape the heroic spirit of a bucket waist and a horse running on her arm. Do you think Miss Lu Erlong could be the White Armored Earth Dragon Martial Soul? Lu Erlong laughed heartily. Fran's face turned red and he exclaimed, You see so accurately, then talk about my martial soul. End of this chapter. Chapter 3 Huff. Keep fooling me. You are listening at NovelFull.audio. Chapter 3 Huff. Keep fooling me. You have a cunning and cunning demeanor. Yu Xiao Jiang instinctively replied, seeing Fran's face change, she quickly changed her tone and said, No, it's just that her eyes are shining. You are wearing a special pair of glasses, and when you are serious and angry, your gaze is sharp. Obviously, the martial soul is a beast martial soul with sharp eyes. Besides, you have a light and agile physique. So, your martial soul should be an eagle-like martial soul, right? Fran's face darkened and he shook his head firmly, no. It's a big mistake. Yu Xiao Jiang pretended to be surprised and said, isn't that right? Let me think about it again. Well, there is indeed something unreasonable about your glasses. It seems that they are designed to enhance your visibility. That is to say, your eyesight is not really good, it's contradictory. Yu Xiao Jiang pretended to touch her chin, frowned slightly, and pondered seriously. Lu Erlong originally looked like he was watching a good show, but now he found this serious young man somewhat attractive. Serious men are the most attractive, as someone may have said, but it does make a lot of sense. Frand, however, felt that he had finally fooled this guy and quickly reached out his knife and fork, ready to chop a piece of meat. Ah! I got it! Yu Xiao Jiang suddenly exclaimed, so scared that Fran's hand slipped and almost cut it. I think of an eagle, an owl. During the day, my gaze is not good, my spirit is even worse, and I feel drowsy. At night, I am full of energy and my gaze is sharp. Its situation perfectly fits your situation. I heard that there is a kind of martial soul called the four-eyed owl, it can't be you. Yu Xiao Jiang finished speaking and stared at Frand with a shocked expression. And Frand, too, stared at him in amazement. Ha ha ha, good. Exciting. Lu Erlong burst out laughing expressionlessly, applauding and admiring with both hands. You guy. Frand regained his senses after a while, his mouth twitched, but he didn't know what to say, and the food in his mouth wasn't as delicious anymore. Yu Xiao Jiang, Right. You're right in your analysis. My martial soul is indeed a fire dragon. And this friend is my half year old brother. In. Law, and his martial soul is indeed a four eyed owl. Lu Erlong said seriously. I see that you have a deep understanding of martial souls and strong analytical skills. I don't know if there is any guidance for our cultivation. Upon hearing this, Fran slowed down his pace of enjoying his meal and focused his attention on listening. Yu Xiao Jiang could tell that both of them were very concerned. Upon careful consideration, it is also true that casual cultivation is the most needed theoretical master like Yu Xiao Jiang, just like Tang San, who just saw Yu Xiao Jiang in the original work, admired him greatly. On the contrary, People from major sects and powerful forces have their own powerful elders who impart the most perfect experience, so it is reasonable that they do not care about Yu Xiao Jiang's theory. For example, Ning Rongrong came to Shrek by sneaking in. Her father, who is at the peak of her 79 level, and as a family inheritor of martial souls, must have rich experience in cultivating the Seven Treasures Glass Pagoda martial souls. Sword Doluo Chinchin and Bone Doluo Gurong, as powerful title Dolua at levels 95 and 96, naturally have rich experience in soul power cultivation and are very insightful. 
They are the best teachers for Ning Rongrong. Fran is a casual cultivator, and Lu Erlong is also an illegitimate daughter. The two of them started to venture and rely on themselves at a young age. Unlike Tang Hao, who only emerged from the mountain at the age of 35 as a soul saint, his elder brother Tang Xiao is even more ruthless. He only went down the mountain to experience at the age of 50 and level 78. In practice, they naturally do not need too much guidance from others, but Frand and Lu Erlong need it. Thinking of this, Yu Xiaojiang also truly pondered seriously. The stronger Frand and Lu Erlong are, the greater their future help will be. The Golden Holy Dragon, whether it's the fusion technique of martial souls or the transformation of martial souls, I have to settle for it. Speed Amidst Lu Erlong's anticipation, Yu Xiaojiang spoke up. Your future cultivation direction will mainly focus on improving your own speed. Frand and Lu Erlong both frowned slightly. Why? Shouldn't Erlong increase attack power? Fran questioned. Recalling the theoretical level that Yu Xiao had just demonstrated, Fran explained again. You may not know that her attack power is very powerful, violent, and scorching. Isn't the essence of cultivation to expand one's strengths and avoid weaknesses? Lu Erlong also nodded subconsciously and said, I added a power type fire attribute soul ring, which greatly helps with combat power. As for speed, I think it's not that important. Yu Xiaojiang shook his head and said, No, you're wrong. For example, Erlong, how much force does it take to smash a fist-sized stone ten meters away with pure soul power? Lu Erlong hesitated for a moment and said, If you don't use soul skills, you need to use at least 50% soul power. Soul skills are like weapons, pure soul power is like bare hands and empty fists. The difference in combat power between using and not using soul skills is naturally huge. Yu Xiaojiang remembers that Tang Hao, who was titled Dolua in the original work, could hang and beat the soul saint Zhao Wuji with his bare hands. And Zhao Wuji later hanged a five-ring soul king with his bare hands. There is no need to use soul skills to harm people across two great realms. If there is one great realm, then it may not be the case. Even if it is as powerful as Tang Hao, it may not be able to withstand without using soul skills. The soul Dolua uses all eight soul skills to unleash its firepower. What if you're one meter away from the stone? Yu Xiaojiang continued to ask. Lu Erlong confidently said, 1% soul power. Oh, what do you mean? Yu Xiaojiang smiled and did not return. Instead, he looked at Frand and said with a smile, as a soul master of the Quick Attack series, you should know that Quick Attack can defeat the Strong Attack series. And the control system also suppresses the sensitive attack system. The reason lies in speed. With speed, you can unleash stronger attack power at close range, as well as the ability to quickly dodge opponents' attacks, making you invincible. Lu Erlong raised his eyebrows and said somewhat unwillingly, that's not necessarily true. A quick attack versus a strong attack, a strong attack can withstand 3 to 5 moves and can lose a few times, but a quick attack is enough to lose once. Yu Xiaojiang nodded and said, indeed, that's why a simple quick attack soul master has equally obvious advantages and weaknesses. But what if a strong attack type soul master has the speed of a sensitive attack type? Or, to put it another way, the Soul Master of the Quick Attack series has the attacking power of the Strong Attack series. After drinking, Lu Erlong's face turned crimson, and his eyes lit up, adding a touch of charm. Frand was also lost in thought. What do you think is the strongest soul skill? Yu Xiaojiang continued to ask, thinking of the original work's big Sumura Hammer, Poseidon Sea God Descending, and Emperor's Dragon God Claw, all of which were divine skills. However, these are not the soul skills that Yu Xiaojiang admires the most. Before they could speak, Yu Xiaojiang continued, there is a soul beast called the Soft Bone Charm Rabbit, which has weak combat and defense capabilities, but it has a skill called teleportation. Have you heard of it? 
Seeing both of them shaking their heads, Yu Xiaojiang said, instantly. As the name suggests, it can instantly move up to a hundred meters away, whether it's dodging or attacking, it can be called a divine skill. If a strong attack type soul master possesses teleportation skills, they are almost invincible. Yu Xiaojiang believes that Tang San in the original work did not fully unleash the true power of this soul skill. Quickly take on the ultimate move, invincible. If he could obtain teleportation, even if he traded his divine skills, Yu Xiaojiang would be willing. This is a powerful skill that involves spatial rules, second only to temporal rules. In the novels of the Yellow River, the three thousand great paths are the three timeless and unchanging paths that Pangu has mastered. The first path of power, the second path of time, and the third path of space. The other major paths such as cause and effect, fate, yin and yang, chaos, the five elements, and immortals and demons can all rank in the top ten and compete for rankings, but none of them can shake the position of the top three major paths. This setting and ranking are very reasonable. Placed in the world of Dolua, the dark demon tiger, who masters the path of time, uses the time soul skill to transform the opponent into the same appearance as when they were six years old. How incredible is this skill! Hanging King Tang San almost capsized the ship. It's still relying on invincible hidden weapons to overturn the situation. Upon hearing Yu Xiaojiang's explanation, Lu Erlong felt a bit tempted. Seeing Lu Erlong's changing expression, Yu Xiaojiang also breathed a sigh of relief. His current strength is too useless. If he wants to quickly gain the trust of Frand and Lu Erlong, especially if he wants to collaborate with them to perform martial soul fusion skills, he must use a theory that is both effective and helpful to them to completely convince them. At that time, I will use my martial soul fusion technique with them and fully understand the characteristics of the Golden Holy Dragon. Borrow their power again to obtain immortal products, so that Luo Sanpao can purposefully break through towards the Golden Holy Dragon soul, and the possibility of success is even greater. Thinking of this, Yu Xiaojiang decided to throw another heavyweight bomb. He said seriously, by the way, there is one aspect of your future cultivation that cannot be neglected, which is spiritual power. Very important. In Dolua 1, there is almost no description of spiritual power except for the protagonist Tang San. However, in the practice of 10 to 20,000 years later, the cultivation of spiritual power became widespread, and it was only then that everyone understood the importance of spiritual power. In fact, Tang San's ability to cultivate so quickly is also inseparable from his powerful spiritual power. However, in Dolua 1, almost no soul master values spiritual power. Perhaps there is, but their secrets will not be shared. Spiritual power. It's indeed important, but it's difficult to cultivate. Moreover, the enhancement of soul power will also drive the enhancement of spiritual power. Frand interjected. The strength of mental power is closely related to vision, and Fran's mental power is good. He does have a voice. No, spiritual power is related to achieving super dolua in the future, that is, breaking through the 96 title dolua. Yu Xiaojiang's words stunned Fran and Lu Erlong, and then their eyes showed signs of suspicion. He shrugged and said, of course, this is too far away from us. You may not believe what I said, and I cannot verify or find Super Dolua to explain. To put it bluntly, it can improve the accuracy of the attack. By doubling the accuracy, the attack power can be increased by more than twice. On the contrary, if you blindly enhance your attack power while ignoring accuracy, your attack power will double, but your attack effect will only increase by 40%. Listening to Yu Xiaojiang speaking so confidently, especially just now when he even revealed precise data, Frand and Lu Erlong were both surprised and even more skeptical. Let's go. Let's go out of the city and verify it. Lu Erlong patted the table and quickly stood up, saying. Yu Xiao just smiled and nodded, saying, okay, let's go to the forest with fewer people. How about the sunset forest? Of course, he is not afraid of Lu Erlong's verification, after all, 
this data, but he obtained precision-proof data from very rigorous military data. It is the difference between unguided firepower such as bombs, shells, and rockets, and precision-guided missiles. End of this chapter. Chapter 4. Martial Soul Fusion Technique. Golden Holy Dragon. You are listening at NovelFull.audio. Chapter 4 Martial Soul Fusion Technique. Golden Holy Dragon. The three of them quickly left the Martial Soul City. The Martial Soul City is not too big, at least not as big as the two imperial capitals. It is located between the two empires, surrounded by some duchies. On the left side of Seoul City, crossing the Barak Kingdom is the starry forest spanning the two empires. As for the Sunset Forest, it is actually closer. Heading north into the Heavenly Doe Empire and then hundreds of miles north, you will reach the south side of the Sunset Forest. This distance is also quite far. But neither Lu Erlong nor Frand opposed Yu Xiao Jiang's proposal. So, Frand, you have reached the peak of level 39 and are about to break through level 40. You're amazing! Yu Xiao Jiang exclaimed in admiration. Frand is 22 years old and is also a casual cultivator. He can reach the peak of level 39 and his speed is definitely not slow. Shrek 7 Monsters, if you don't have immortal items to hang, reaching the age of soul sect won't be too young. Twenty years later, Fran became a high dot level soul saint and later broke through to soul dolo. Such achievements have surpassed 99% of soul masters, and their talents are naturally not lacking. According to Yu Xiao Jiang's analysis, soul masters who can break through the soul saint level can at least make it to the top 10 in the soul master competition when they are young. Soul Saint, for the Martial Soul Hall, is also considered a high dot end combat power. Soul Saint is qualified to form an advanced Soul Master Academy, join major sects and families, and is also a guest of honor. Second Sister Oh, no, Third Sister's talent is much stronger than mine. Although Frand was a bit proud, he still praised Lu Erlong. He agreed to go to Sunset Forest because he had planned to add soul rings. A journey of one or two months may be enough for him to break through. Lu Erlong is only over 17 years old, and his soul power has reached level 36. Within two years, it should be able to break through to level 40, and once a soul ring is added, it will be level 41. In the Continent Soul Master Competition, Less than half of the elite selected from all advanced colleges, soul masters under the age of 25, can break through the soul sect. Lu Erlong shook his head and said, no matter how talented he is, he is afraid of taking the wrong path. Your theory, brother Yu, is of great help to our cultivation. After leaving the city earlier, they found a secluded forest, and Lu Erlong couldn't wait to accurately verify Yu Xiao Jiang's words. The result is obvious, Yu Xiao Jiang's theory that accuracy exceeds attack power is completely correct. Improving accuracy is twice the result with half the effort. Improving attack power is twice the result with half the effort. Frand and Lu Erlong both decided on the future and needed to spend a lot of time improving their mental strength. So, before Yu Xiao Jiang could speak, Lu Erlong took the initiative to ask Yu Xiao Jiang to join them and travel together. Fran's heart was sour and somewhat wary, but he had difficulty refuting Lu Erlong. Yu Xiaojiang naturally enjoyed his success, and the three of them became sworn brothers and sisters. However, although according to age, Yu Xiaojiang is the second and Lu Erlong is the third, he can still pick up a little sister as his brother. Kuyuxiagang naturally didn't want to, and Fran, this guy, had been sitting on his head all along. Cough, big. Brother, third sister, it's not as good as us. We rank size based on strength, whoever is stronger will be the leader, and whoever is weakest will be the younger brother. This is more interesting and easier to stimulate everyone's cultivation speed, how about it? Upon hearing Yu Xiao Jiang's request, Fran and Lu Erlong were both stunned. Fran showed a strange smile and said, Second. No, third brother. Why are you asking for trouble? 
do you still want to surpass me in your lifetime? Lu Erlong also comforted and said, Brother Yu, shouldn't I be your third sister? If you're like this, I'm likely to be the big sister in the future, ha ha ha. When they first formed a sworn alliance, the two of them naturally learned about Yu Xiao Jiang's cultivation. At the peak of level 9, even if we break through level 10, it is estimated that we will have to wait for one or two months. By then, Fran will have reached level 40, and Lu Erlong should also break through to level 37. How can we make up for the gap between the 20 and 30 levels? The most crucial thing is that at the age of 18, at the peak of level 9, his talent is self-evident. How to catch up, already gifted far beyond his boss and himself. Lu Erlong felt helpless and realized that she really didn't want to take advantage of him. But Yu Xiaojiang was very determined, so she had to give up. Fran smiled but remained silent. As the journey progressed, the three of them became increasingly familiar. Fran and Lu Erlong have known each other for half a year. And Yu Xiaojiang also knows them very well. Along the way, there were mainly Fran and Lu Erlong, gradually getting to know Yu Xiaojiang. Third brother, it's been half a month now. What exactly is your martial soul? How long will you keep it from us? Don't worry, no matter what it is, we won't laugh at you. In the city of Nodding in the Heavenly Do Empire, Fran looked at Yu Xiaojiang, who was looking around the small town, and asked curiously. Lu Erlong also looked at him. Actually, both of them know that if Yu Xiaojiang's cultivation is so weak, it must be a problem with his martial soul. In order to avoid harming Yu Xiaojiang, they have deliberately avoided this issue these days. However, after half a month, they became more familiar with each other and knew that Yu Xiaojiang was not so fragile. So, I couldn't help but feel curious in my heart. Yu Xiaojiang waved her hand and said arrogantly, Didn't I tell you? My martial soul is an unprecedented powerful dragon clan. However, it is currently in the incubation stage and not suitable for display. Fran pouted and said, Do you think martial souls are incubating eggs? Even if your martial soul is truly a powerful dragon clan, it should have hatched when you were six years old. Yu Xiaojiang shrugged and said, You're right. An ordinary martial soul awakens at the age of six, while a divine level martial soul takes even longer. Don't believe it. Do you know the six winged angel martial soul? It is the Pope, the martial soul of the thousand schools, who has been passed down from generation to generation in the martial soul hall. Frand and Lu Erlong both nodded. The martial soul of the Pope in the martial soul hall is not a secret, as everyone knows it to be an extremely powerful martial soul. Once their family's martial soul awakens, it will be innate level 20 soul power. You can directly add two soul rings and become a great soul master at the age of six. Yu Xiaojiang's words left Fran and Lu Erlong shocked. This is the top secret of the martial soul hall, which outsiders hardly know. So, I've been waiting for an opportunity. Yu Xiaojiang said seriously. Lu Erlong comforted him and said, Butterflies have also changed from green worms, even if your martial soul is a worm. Yu Xiaojiang suddenly seemed to be stimulated and shouted loudly, What bug, I'm a dragon. Okay. Since you want to see it, then activate your soul power, concentrate your spiritual power, and recite the mnemonic sun and moonshine, golden turn loudly. Come with me and summon my martial soul. Yu Xiaojiang's expression was somewhat excited, but also had a strange premonition and expectation. Of course, it is more of an attempt. But Fran and Lu Erlong, seeing that he was speaking seriously and with great confidence, couldn't help but believe three points. Just give it a try, it won't cost anything anyway. The sun and moon shine and turn golden. Fran and Lu Erlong stood aside and shouted loudly, urging their soul power. Yu Xiaojiang stood in front of them, forming a triangle and shouting along. Amidst the cheers of the three people and the release of soul power, soul power permeated under their feet, connecting and instantly forming a faint golden light. And, golden light rises from the sky, 
forming three golden pillars of light. At the center of the pillar of light, complex and mysterious patterns and runes appear one after another. Frand and Lu Erlong felt a large amount of soul power consumed in their bodies, and were shocked to see the scene before them. The newly formed golden triangular pillar is swaying and drifting, about to collapse. Yu Xiaojiang was also stunned. He didn't expect that the first time he tried casually, he really succeeded. Steady. He shouted loudly and released his martial soul at the same time. Come out. Luo. My golden holy dragon. Yu Xiaojiang roared loudly as a peculiar soul master, resembling a combination of pigs and dogs, flapped a pair of small wings and rushed into the triangular beam of light. Activate the soul ring. Yu Xiaojiang's face turned pale, and cold sweat broke out on his forehead. However, he shouted excitedly and nervously. Frand and Lu Erlong gritted their teeth but did not refuse, activating their three soul rings and flying into the triangular pillar of light. Quickly, the obese Luo San Pao suddenly became erect, with his body constantly becoming large, robust, and slender, rapidly transforming into a seven or eight meter long double-winged golden dragon. End of this chapter Chapter 5 Soul Power Double Breakthrough Arrive at Sunset Forest You are listening at NovelFull.audio Chapter 5 Soul Power Double Breakthrough Arrive at Sunset Forest Buzzing the Golden Dragon only appeared for half a second and quickly disappeared. But the shock caused to the three of them persisted for a long time. None of the three expected that there would really be a Golden Dragon appearing. Frand and Lu Erlong thought this was really Yu Xiaojiang's martial soul. And Yu Xiaojiang, on the other hand, did not expect that the three-person martial soul fusion technique, which was even more difficult to perform than the already difficult two-person technique, was successful in the first attempt. That's right, I remember in the original work, the degree of integration of the Golden Triangle reached an unimaginable 99%. However, Dai Mubai and Zhu Zhuqing's initial integration in Shrek was only 60%. Most martial soul fusion techniques will not exceed 70%. The integration degree of the Golden Triangle is too high, so it was barely successful for the first time. Yu Xiaojiang slowly pondered in his heart. If I add the first soul ring and try a few more times, it will definitely merge more thoroughly, become stronger, and last longer. Ha! Huh. Yu Xiaojiang's heart twitched, and suddenly her body trembled. The bottleneck that had been stuck at the peak of level 9 for a long time was unexpectedly broken, breaking through to level 10. In the next moment, Fran beside him also had a strong aura. Ha ha ha, I made a breakthrough. Fran laughed heartily and jumped up holding Yu Xiaojiang, shouting, Third brother, you are really my lucky star. This is at least one or two months ahead of what he expected. Lu Erlong was also surprised with a radiant expression in his eyes, staring at Yu Xiaojiang and murmuring, It's really the dragon martial soul. What a powerful dragon martial soul. Yu Xiaojiang suppressed her surprise and looked at the commotion in Nodding City, urging, Let's leave quickly, otherwise we'll be surrounded by everyone. Fortunately, this is just a small town, and the Dean of Nodding College is also a Four Ring Soul sect. The Martial Soul Hall is also the lowest level, and there are no strong ones. The other ordinary people looked at the three of them with awe and envy, afraid to gather around. The three of them quickly left Nodding City and continued to move north. To the northwest, more than 100 miles away from Nodding City, Yu Xiaojiang was surprised to see a quite large forest. Is that it? Yu Xiaojiang exclaimed in surprise. However, he also noticed something was wrong. Although the forest was quite large, the trees and vines were not very tall and robust, and there was no sense of the ancient vicissitudes of a huge forest. Moreover, the growth and arrangement of some trees are even quite regular, just like artificial planting. Outside the forest, there are even some patrolling soul masters. Yu Xiaojiang suddenly realized, and Lu Erlong also explained, this is the soul-hunting forest, 
which was transformed from some unsuitable land such as forests, mountains, and swamps for human habitation and cultivation. It was built by the Marshall Soul Hall. Both empires have four or five each, and each principality and kingdom has one. Most soul beasts in the forest have a lifespan of ten years, rarely a hundred years, and are used by ordinary civilians or junior soul masters to hunt soul rings. Yu Xiaojiang nodded, feeling a little emotional in her heart. The Marshall Soul Hall is free for the whole continent, and all ordinary children aged six awaken their martial souls, giving everyone a chance. This kind of merit is like transporting electricity to poor farmers living on high mountains and steep cliffs in our motherland before crossing the border, which cannot be recovered for a hundred years. It's like nine that your compulsory education, not a single one can be missed. Even soul rings can be hunted from low dot risk soul hunting forests. It is reasonable that the Marshall Soul Hall can master most soul masters in the whole continent, as it can gain people's hearts. On the contrary, the original work Tang San destroyed the Marshall Soul Hall for his own revenge, which actually had more harm than good for the entire continent. So, ten thousand years later, even the Tang clan, which had once had seven deities, would disappear into obscurity and become a sect with only one person. Of course, the Marshall Soul Hall is not a truly holy place, there are also dark places. But overall, the establishment of the Marshall Soul Hall has more advantages than disadvantages for the mainland. Ha! Huh. Tang Hao and the Blue Silver Emperor Ian don't know each other yet. If we stop their union, will Tang San be unable to be born? Yu Xiaojiang's heart suddenly moved. Yes. For the peace of the entire continent and the common people, I must prevent the Blue Silver Emperor from falling in love with Tang Hao. Let me bear the pain of the forbidden love between humans and soul beasts. A silver smile appeared on Yu Xiaojiang's face. Originally, Yu Xiaojiang was not handsome, but he did have a very durable temperament. After Yu Xiaojiang crossed over, she gained a bit more confidence and tenacious aura. At this moment, a wicked smile appeared, which made Lu Erlong's heart skip a beat. His face turned a rare blush. Third brother. He. What is he thinking? Is it, third brother, let's take you to the soul hunting forest first to obtain the first soul ring, right? Fran's words also interrupted the fantasies of Yu Xiao Jiang and Lu Erlong. No need, let's go to the sunset forest first. Yu Xiaojiang refused without hesitation. Are you joking? You must first take the elixir, transform your body and talents, and then absorb the elixir. With the current garbage physique, adding a 200-year soul ring may reach the limit. The age of a soul ring, once added, cannot be changed unless it is bestowed by a divine gift. Yu Xiaojiang must make plans for the future. After absorbing immortal products, it is inevitable that the limit of the first soul ring in 423 years can be broken, even approaching the 764-year limit of the second soul ring. The main sources of information for Yu Xiaojiang in the original work are the Marshall Soul Hall and the Blue Electric Tyrannosaurus Rex family. Although these are two top powers, it is impossible to collect all the information from the entire continent. Just like Tang San, the third soul ring is 2000 years old, but Shrek's seven monsters and teachers will not disclose this information, and outsiders may think it is only a soul ring that has been around for a thousand years. Moreover, with Yu Xiaojiang's original talent and status, he should not have access to some core information. So, Tang San was able to repeatedly break Yu Xiaojiang's theory. There is a reason why Tang San started cheating himself, and it is likely that there is also Yu Xiaojiang's theory, which is not so perfect. So, Yu Xiaojiang believes that as long as he obtains the immortal product, his first soul ring will definitely reach five to six hundred years, or even stronger. Yu Xiaojiang refused, and Fran naturally wouldn't force it. He longed to go to the sunset forest early and absorb the fourth soul ring to become the soul sect. Lu Erlong wanted to persuade, but he hesitated to speak. After this period of understanding, she also found that although Yu Xiaojiang's strength is not strong, he is very independent or stubborn. 
The three of them avoided the soul-hunting forest, walked and stopped, and after several days, finally arrived at the sunset forest. At this moment, as the sun sets in the west, the afterglow of the setting sun shines on the forest in the spring breeze. The golden sunshine, red afterglow, and green branches and leaves complement each other, making it extremely beautiful. Sunset Forest, as the name suggests, is beautiful when the sun sets, and spring happens to be the most beautiful time. Looking at the beautiful forest under the sunset, Yu Xiaojiang took a deep breath and his gaze became excited. The time has come for the transformation and rebirth of the martial soul. End of this chapter Chapter 6 Shrek Academy Planning Huyo Sol Dolua Dugubo You are listening at NovelFull.audio Chapter 6 Shrek Academy Planning Huyo Sol Dolua Dugubo Not only Yu Xiaojiang was excited, but also Frand was full of energy. He looked at the forest with an uplifted tone and said, If you add the fourth soul ring and become a soul sect, you are eligible to apply for the establishment of a junior soul master academy. Yu Xiaojiang was taken aback. Does this guy just want to become the dean like that? Boss Fu, what does junior college mean? To establish, just establish the advanced soul master academy. Moreover, only recruit monster geniuses and cultivate strong ones. Yes, there is a legendary monster called Shrek, and I've figured out the name of the academy for you, it's called Shrek Academy. Yu Xiaojiang frowned and winked, urging him. Fran was taken aback and immediately overjoyed, okay. Okay. Shrek, Shrek, yes, it's called Shrek Academy. Third brother, you are really a genius. Lu Erlong couldn't help but pour cold water and said, the threshold for establishing an intermediate college also requires at least a soul king. The founder of an advanced college requires a soul saint for cultivation. If you want to establish an advanced soul master academy, wait another thirty years. Upon hearing these words, Fran's passion suddenly diminished. After becoming a soul sect, the cultivation speed will be greatly reduced. Upgrading by one level per year on average is already quite impressive. The 52-year-old soul saint is also quite good. Most geniuses will be stuck at the peak of the soul emperor, making it difficult to break through the soul saint level. Is it necessary for a soul saint to establish an advanced soul master academy? Yu Xiaojiang asked curiously. It is not explicitly stated in the original work that when Tang San participated in the Continent Soul Master competition, there were only 100 senior colleges in the two major empires and about 10 principalities of the continent, which was less than the key universities in China. It is naturally difficult to establish such an academy, and it is reasonable for Soul Saint to do so. Not necessarily. I heard that soul masters with soul holy battle power or special powerful skills can gradually advance to the soul master academy. Fran thought of something, his eyes lit up, and he quickly said. Lu Erlong and Yu Xiaojiang exchanged a glance, revealing a hint of a smile. Ha ha ha, third brother, after you and I have added soul rings, the combat power of the golden holy dragon in the martial soul fusion technique should reach the level of soul emperor. In a few years, when you become the great soul master and the second dragon also becomes the soul sect, perhaps we will have the power of soul holy war. The more Fran spoke, the more excited he became, and he was completely fascinated by the advanced soul master academy of creation. I have found my fourth soul ring soul beast, and I will come back to you once I find it. After Fran finished speaking, he couldn't wait to unleash his four-eyed owl soul possession and fly towards the sunset forest. You have to be careful. Yu Xiaojiang reminded. Although Fran's mental state is better at night, the forest at night is also more dangerous. If I fail, how can I find ice and fire Liangyi eyes myself? Moreover, Fran's target is already birds and soul beasts, which are difficult to deal with. Bird martial souls do not have an advantage over bird soul beasts. Boss Fu won't encounter any danger, will he? Lu Erlong is also a bit worried. After all, we have been in contact for half a year, 
and we are all good friends. There is also a rare martial soul fusion technique that further enhances our relationship. Yu Xiaojiang comforted and said, It's okay, most birds and soul beasts are not good at night combat, which is Fu Laodao's advantage. Lu Erlong breathed a sigh of relief and summoned the fire dragon soul to light the bonfire. Yu Xiaojiang searched around for some dry firewood and took out the dried or smoked soul beast meat from the bright moon night of the twenty-four bridges. The two of them began to stew soup. The energy and residual soul power in soul beast meat are also beneficial for cultivation, far exceeding ordinary dry food. Lu Erlong looks slim, but he is a king of big stomachs, praising Yu Xiaojiang's stewing and barbecue skills. Hmm, it smells so good. In mid-air, a surprised voice came. Yu Xiaojiang and Lu Erlong suddenly turned around and stood ready. In the forest, it is not necessarily soul beasts that are dangerous, and sometimes human soul masters are also very dangerous. However, seeing the other person walking on the treetops, as light as a feather, their vigilance turned into helplessness. Soul Saint Apart from flying soul masters, only soul saints can barely take off, but it's not even considered flying. This middle-aged man has an extraordinary aura, not just as simple as an ordinary soul saint. Especially, with slightly green hair, everyone is I dot catching. Yu Xiaojiang chuckled inwardly. When he saw your green hair at first glance, you brother, I made up my mind. Thank you for your praise, senior. If you don't mind, let's join us. Yu Xiaojiang arched his hand and smiled. During his middle age, Dugu Bo was not far from his future, with a tall and thin physique and a somewhat indifferent personality. Upon hearing Yu Xiaojiang's polite words, he glanced with some surprise. He didn't expect that Yu Xiaojiang was quite brave. Immediately, he saw through Yu Xiaojiang's soul power level again and was even more surprised. Without any hesitation, he said, so big, only level 10. Yu Xiaojiang smiled but did not answer. Dugu Bo didn't care about him either. He took a bowl of strong and fragrant meat soup from the soup pot, not afraid of being hot. He used his soul power to protect his mouth and drank it gurgling. Ha, huh, he took a deep breath and sat cross-legged on the ground, beginning to regain his soul power. Lu Erlong was somewhat dissatisfied, and Yu Xiaojiang gave her a wink. Dugu Bo felt a bit disheveled and his breath was a bit lethargic. His green robe had many stains, wrinkles, and even broken cracks and burning holes. It is obvious that he experienced a very intense battle. Yu Xiaojiang's heart was moved. Is it true that Dugu Bo is hunting soul beasts and preparing to add soul rings? At this time, Dugu Bo should not have broken through the title Doluo, so he should be the soul Doluo. However, judging from his appearance, it seems that he has not been successful. Dugu Bo at level 80. What are you looking at? Kid, what is your martial soul? Dugu Bo suddenly opened his eyes and looked at Yu Xiaojiang, saying. What's wrong with you? I'll drink you a bowl of meat soup and give you a century-old soul ring. I never owe you any favors. Yu Xiaojiang and Lu Erlong are both delighted. Dragon. We are dragon-like martial souls. Lu Erlong quickly spoke up. Dugu Bo snorted lightly and frowned, no wonder there's a smell that makes me uncomfortable. He remembered something again and stared at Yu Xiaojiang, saying, no. Having the Dragon Clan's martial soul, how come you, this kid, only have level 10 soul power? Yu Xiaojiang had no choice but to repeat the words that had previously deceived Fran and Lu Erlong, which made Dugu Bo half believe and half doubt. All right, stop talking nonsense and let's go. Dugu Bo made a move and a powerful soul power enveloped Yu Xiaojiang, taking him away. Master Dugu, wait a moment, let's make a big deal. Yu Xiaojiang quickly spoke up. Dugu Bo was taken aback and said, Do you know me? Immediately, he realized that as the peak soul saint, he had a considerable reputation, and it was not too strange to know him. He shook his head and sneered, You're such a weak little chicken, why do you still want to trade with me? 
Is it a big deal? Yu Xiaojiang was well prepared and said, Master Dugu, although the bamboo leaf green drama snake type is strong, it is not suitable to be your eighth soul ring. Dugu Bo's face showed a cold smile, but Yu Xiaojiang continued, the hidden danger of mixed toxins in your body also needs to be solved. I have better and stronger soul rings, even soul bones for you. What? Upon hearing these words, Dugu Bo and Lu Erlong both exclaimed loudly. End of this chapter. Chapter 7 Information is Power Wu Dugu Bo You are listening at NovelFull.audio The source has no content or has errors. Chapter 8 Hunting the Medusa Snake King Finally see the eyes of ice and fire. You are listening at NovelFull.audio Chapter 8 Hunting the Medusa Snake King Finally see the eyes of ice and fire. Medusa Upon hearing Yu Xiaojiang's inquiry, Dugu Bo was somewhat surprised and said, Is there really such a rare ancient soul beast? I have only heard of it a little. He didn't continue to inquire. How did Yu Xiaojiang learn about it? It was their secret and their trump card, and he definitely wouldn't say it. Do you mean that this Medusa soul beast will help me solve the toxins? Yu Xiaojiang smiled and suddenly became serious, saying, the head soul bone it brings not only helps you solve toxins, but also brings you a powerful eighth soul ring. This soul ring can transform your martial soul, become the blue scale snake emperor, and lay the foundation for becoming a title doluo. The beast martial soul needs to break through the title doluo, which is more difficult than the weapon martial soul. It's just a blue scale snake, and you can only stop at the soul doluo. Solve toxins. Head Soul Bone Martial Soul Transformation The three news from Yu Xiaojiang made Dugu Bo ecstatic and somewhat worried, afraid that Yu Xiaojiang was deceiving him. Okay. Tomorrow, let's go deep into the Sunset Forest to find King Medusa and the Ice and Fire Eye you mentioned. After Dugu Bo finished speaking, he stopped talking nonsense and quickly focused and closed his eyes, starting to restore his cultivation and prepare for tomorrow. Lu Erlong looked at Yu Xiaojiang with even greater admiration, and immediately began practicing to enhance his soul power. As for Yu Xiaojiang, he was also feeling a bit excited. The opportunity to get rid of this trash talent is coming soon. With the help of Dugu Bo and my own recollection, the description of the ice and fire Liangyi eyes in the original work is located beneath a high mountain, where there is a poisonous mist of seven unique flowers with blue scales. Moreover, besides immortal products and some genius treasures, the vegetation around the ice and fire Liangyi eyes is also more lush than the ones outside. With these characteristics, it is not difficult to find the eyes of both ice and fire. After finding the ice and fire Liangyi eyes, which immortal product is good for me to take? Yu Xiaojiang became more and more excited as she thought about it, and had already begun to imagine her plans for obtaining numerous immortal products. First of all, exclude the semi-finished product Xianpin Jiupin Zizhi. Following the original route, do you absorb both the flame apricot Jiao Shu and the octagonal black ice grass like Tang San did? A normal immortal product can only absorb one plant, while these two immortal products, which clash with fire and ice, can be absorbed simultaneously. Moreover, these two immortal products are mainly used for quenching the body, which does not affect the spiritual power of looking through autumn dew. That is to say, I can absorb at least three immortal plants, while choosing other immortal plants may only be able to absorb one plant. Tang San in the original work always cheats and gets the best things. Yu Xiaojiang also knew that following Tang San's route should be the best. However, deep down in his heart, he still felt a bit unwilling. Is it possible that I can only absorb three immortal plants at most? I am only at level 10 soul power now, and these three immortal items are not good at improving soul power. Although I am not Yu Xiaojiang, I have inherited his physical body and identity, and I also want to get rid of the title of a waste. Besides, I want to reclaim everything he lost. Just as he wore more and more, 
Bibi Dong's determination towards him was still vivid in Yu Xiaojiang's memory through his body. Moreover, winning the Soul Master Competition Championship comes with many rewards. By the way, it is now more than 20 years before Tang San's time travel. Will there be a reward for Tang San's three soul bones in the current competition? Should I find a way to boost the momentum and make the competition bigger and the rewards more generous for everyone? But in this way, I should quickly improve my cultivation even more. In just one and a half years, this year's All Continent Soul Master competition is about to begin. Shu. As Yu Xiaojiang gazed into the sky, gazing through the stars in the forest, with a myriad of thoughts, a burst of sound suddenly came from breaking through the sky. Dugu Bo opened his eyes and immediately closed them, ignoring them. Ha ha ha, second sister and third brother, I have obtained the fourth soul ring. Fran landed, holding a bird soul beast that was not much larger than a palm in his hand, and exclaimed excitedly. Shut up. I'm disturbing my cultivation. Fran, who was shivering, was scolded by Dugu Bo, who was recovering his soul power behind a tree in the distance, and was almost scared to pee. Master Fu, this is Senior Dugu. Lu Erlong was afraid that Fran would provoke him unknowingly, so he was slapped to death and quickly explained. In the latter half of the night, Fran, who was somewhat frightened, finally restrained his mind and killed the soul beast he brought back starting to absorb soul rings. He also followed Yu Xiaojiang's advice and added a pure speed aurora bird to the fourth soul ring, just to enhance speed. Yu Xiaojiang believes that as a sensitive attack type soul master, and for future considerations, adding a pure speed soul ring to the fourth soul ring is a very cost-effective thing. In the next 50,000 years, add powerful bird soul beasts, such as eagles, to the soul ring. In battle, the combination of the fourth and fifth soul rings provides exceptional combat power. The next day, early in the morning, Dugu Bo, who couldn't wait, urged Yu Xiaojiang and others to leave. Originally, he wanted to search for the Medusa Snake King alone. Kuyu Xiao just thought for a moment, I don't know when he will be able to find it. And Fran has already broken through into the soul sect. As a flying soul beast, he is also skilled in vision and exploration, not inferior to Dugu Bo. And I, along with Lu Erlong and Fran, can also use stronger martial soul fusion skills than before. Even if he can't directly help, Dugu Bo can still do some interference by hunting the Medusa Snake King. Sure enough, just two days later, with his understanding of snakes, Frand was the first to find the powerful Medusa Snake King within the rough range specified by Dugu Bo. If it weren't for his fast speed, he might even be petrified. In the original work, Dugu Baning was able to obtain the Medusa Soul Ring. At this time, someone helped to attract Medusa's attention and kill the Snake King, which was also logical. Dugu Bo's breakthrough and transformation, as Yu Xiaojiang said, followed the same path as the original work and became an 81-level soul dolo. Moreover, his martial soul has transformed into the blue-scaled snake emperor, possessing the capital to challenge the title dolo. Similarly, he also obtained the head soul bone of the Medusa snake king, and after fusion, his strength greatly increased. My strength is still too weak, I need to improve a bit, and with the help of the ice and fire two eyes that I mentioned, I can solve your final problem. Watching Dugu Bo's excited and expectant gaze, Yu Xiaojiang explained. Okay. I'll go find it right away. Now Dugu Bo truly admires and appreciates Yu Xiaojiang from the bottom of his heart, and even shows some respect towards the strong. This little guy, not very old and not very strong, but he seems to know everything, which is also a huge ability. Just searching for the ice and fire Liangyi eyes, Lu Erlong and Yu Xiaojiang don't need to continue following. The two of them are on the safer outskirts of the sunset forest, practicing and waiting like playing in the mountains and rivers. Half a month later, Dugu Bo followed the characteristics suggested by Yu Xiaojiang and found the ice and fire Liangyi eyes. In early spring, as the sun sets, the forest grass grows and birds fly. Dugu Bo and Yu Xiaojiang were flying high in the sky, followed by Fran and Lu Erlong, 
quickly sweeping through large areas of the sunset forest. Under the protection of Dugabo, after passing through the poisonous mist of the blue scale seven Jew flowers, as soon as Yu Xiaojiang landed, she saw the long dot awaited ice and fire Liangyi eyes, and her whole body was hot and dry. Her martial soul Luo San Pao was restless and ready to move. End of this chapter. Chapter 9 Take the lead in absorbing autumn dew. A different transformation. You are listening at novel full dot audio. Chapter 9 Take the lead in absorbing autumn dew. A different path of transformation. Is this. Is this the eye of ice and fire? It's so beautiful. At the moment of seeing the eyes of ice and fire, everyone was stunned. Even though Lu Erlong has a hot temper, she is still a girl, her eyes lit up, and she exclaimed in admiration. The fire spring in the eyes of ice and fire presents a molten red and orange-yellow color, emitting hot air. And the snow-white cold spring on the edge emits white mist, with a cold and refreshing air. The top ten immortals around grow endlessly, depending on their attributes and energy strength. Flame Apricot Jiao Shu is the strongest fire attribute immortal product. Because it is too strong, it has become a fire poison, and it is closest to the fire spring. It is like a burning cabbage, and also like the most exquisite red crystal carving, crystal clear, full of terrifying fire element energy. Similarly, the opposite octagonal black ice grass is closest to the cold spring. The fragrant Qi Luo immortal product can restrain a hundred poisons and is known as the top immortal product by Tang San. It grows at the junction of the ice and fire eyes. However, according to Yu Xiaojiang's speculation, the Yoxiang Qi Luo immortal product is only used to restrain a hundred poisons, not to detoxify them. The evaluation of the top ten immortal products is too high. Moreover, lovesickness and heartbreak are the kings of flowers, the strongest beings. It is rooted in a very unique stone, which is suspended in the center of the eyes of ice and fire, while bearing the strongest nourishment of fire and cold springs. Yu Xiaojiang was also shocked to see it. No wonder this heartbroken red lovesickness is very proud. As long as it is not recognized by it, no one can pick it. Moreover, it can withstand powerful attacks and can be called a bulletproof vest. In addition, it can also block the aura of soul beasts, even the title Dolua cannot be perceived. Moreover, it can also bring Xiaowu back to life from death. To fully absorb its medicinal power, even the thousand-year nine-ranked Jinseng King, which is comparable to a fairy grade, or the five-thousand-year crystal blood dragon Jinseng, is needed as an auxiliary medicine. Once thoroughly refined, one can forge a semi-divine body. Thinking of the various magical effects of lovesickness and heartbreak, Yu Xiaojiang was tempted. However, how can I get this heartbreaking love story? The blood of true love. I traveled through the previous single dog, and behind the goddess of true love, there were local tycoons fiercely supporting them. Can he truly love anyone? As for Bibi Dong. I haven't really met her yet. Lu Erlong. He looks pretty good, with an equally hot figure and temper. But is this a liking? It's just a craving for her body, despicable. Yu Xiaojiang roast that he knew that he could not get lovesickness and heartbroken when he went the normal way. With a light sigh in his heart, he looked at the other immortals. The coxcomb phoenix sunflower grows just outside the scorching apricot blossom. Its fire element is purer, cleaner, and slightly softer, making it the best fire attribute nourishment that can be refined and absorbed normally. As soon as Lu Erlong landed, he stared at it intently, his big eyes filled with longing. As for Fran and Dugabo, they looked around and wanted everything, but didn't know what they really wanted. Yu Xiaojiang also glanced at the soft medicinal properties of the Chilua tulip and the eight petal fairy orchid, as well as the Qi Rong Tong Tian chrysanthemum and Narcissus jade bones that enhance muscles and bones. Finally, Yu Xiaojiang's gaze fell on a very ordinary little grass. There is a very ordinary petal at the top of the grass, with three drops of water inside, which is about to fall. Looking through the autumn dew, this is something you must take. 
Moreover, it only targets the mental power of the head and does not conflict with the use of other immortal products. Yu Xiao Jiang's eyes lit up and she quickly thought to herself, perhaps I should take it first. After enhancing mental strength, taking other immortal products should be smoother. Thinking of this, Yu Xiao Jiang no longer hesitated and came to Wang Chuanqi Yu digging his roots with his bare hands. The top ten immortal products are harvested in different ways. The dewdrops that look through the autumn dew cannot be consumed until they are picked. During the picking process, one should not come into contact with the elements of gold, wood, water, fire, and soil, and bare hands are the best way. Sorry, please wait a moment. These immortal products cannot be taken casually. Yu Xiao Jiang gave a warning and grabbed the autumn water dew, coming under the fragrant Qi Luo immortal product. A layer of red light blocked the ice, fire, and poison outside. He looked up and sucked three special drops of water into his mouth, beginning to refine. Although Lu Erlong does not pick immortal products without authorization, she can also feel the tremendous attraction of the energy from the fire spring to her. She arrived outside the coxcomb phoenix sunflower, sat cross-legged, and began practicing. For her, who possesses the fire dragon martial soul, this is undoubtedly a holy land for cultivation. Her cultivation speed, like these immortal items, is ten times faster than the outside world. Dugu Bo also felt that the energy breath here really had a suppressive effect on the toxins in his body. Moreover, this is simply a top-dot-notch treasure trove for cultivating heavenly treasures and earthly treasures. When you woke up, I asked him for a piece of land to plant herbs. He is willing to tell me even the news of his soul bone. He should also give me a piece of land, right? Dugu Bo pondered, feeling both excited and uneasy. He looked around and even started selecting an area outside of the fairy products, leveling the ground, throwing stones out, loosening the soil, weeding, and looking like an old farmer preparing to farm. Frand, on the other hand, felt a bit lost and stood on the side, watching. He tried to practice and found that the atmosphere here did not match him. Either the fire energy is too strong, or the ice attribute energy is too strong, even when practicing at the junction, it is difficult to balance. He didn't know that the best position for cultivation had already been occupied by Yu Xiao Jiang, right under the fragrant Chilua immortal pin on the other end. Just as Yu Xiao Jiang swallowed three drops of autumn dew, he felt a loud explosion in his head. There is no severe pain, only an unprecedented sense of comfort, more than a person who is hot, thirsty, and tired and hungry in the desert, suddenly soaking in cool water, drinking the most delicious juice, and feeling a hundred times more comfortable. Although she closed her eyes, Yu Xiao Jiang seemed to have seen a new world. That's his sea of knowledge. Yu Xiao Jiang just realized that everyone actually has a sense of the sea, which is where the soul and spiritual power reside. However, ordinary people perceive the sea as chaotic and hazy, just like looking at flowers in the mist, without completely opening up. Spiritual cultivation is actually very important, but in the first and second parts of Dolua, only the protagonist cultivates spiritual power, while others rarely practice it, especially in the first part. In the third part of Dolua, which is 20,000 years ago, there is a clear division of spiritual power. I remember that the spiritual power of ordinary people and low-dot-level soul masters is in the spiritual element realm, with a spiritual power value below 100. Most soul masters are in a spiritual realm with spiritual power values ranging from 100 to 500. Next, it's the Linghai realm, with spiritual power ranging from 500 to 5000, with a huge span and a huge gap. Perhaps this is the spiritual power that only the title Dolua possesses. At this moment, Yu Xiaojiang's perception of the sea was like an instant surge of three tornadoes, sweeping across the sky and earth, blowing away the mist, forming a vast expanse of heaven and earth. Three tornadoes, the tornado transformed from intangible to tangible, as if it had weathered into fog. Then, the fog became thicker and formed small raindrops scattered throughout the sky, falling with a clatter. Two Transformations Yu Xiaojiang can clearly feel that her spiritual power has undergone two transformations. 
perhaps, directly from the lowest level of Lingyuan realm, cross the Lingtong realm, and directly reach the Linghai realm. That's right, Tang San in the original work, after absorbing the Autumn Dew, can directly see through Xiao Wu's hidden soul beast, which is also the ability of the title Doluo. Yu Xiao Jiang was pleasantly surprised in his heart. His soul was bathed in the rain, like a dried sponge absorbing moisture, quickly filling and becoming stronger. And more raindrops are on the ground, forming a pool of liquid spiritual power with a faint silver luster inside. End of this chapter. Chapter 10 What kind of immortal product is good to absorb? Enthusiastically choose. You are listening at NovelFull.audio Chapter 10 What kind of immortal product is good to absorb? Enthusiastically choose. Yu Xiaojiang was awakened from hunger. Yes, in the original work, Tang San only used a short amount of time and spent less than a night absorbing the autumn dew. That's because Tang San has a solid foundation in cultivation, especially in terms of spiritual power, and has the advantage of purple extreme magic eyes. But Yu Xiaojiang has nothing, he still uses Yu Xiaojiang's useless body. He absorbed his spiritual energy and spent three full days. Before he could fully absorb it, his body couldn't bear it anymore. Hunger was the second most important thing, and his throat was about to smoke. The physical pain forcefully awakened Yu Xiaojiang, who was immersed in the surge of spiritual power and comfort. You kid, you finally woke up. If it weren't for seeing your mental strength improving and not being disturbed, I would have woken you up long ago. Seeing that Yu Xiao had just woken up, Dugu Bo breathed a sigh of relief. This kid not only shows great kindness to himself, but also relies on him for the toxins of his entire family, so there can be no problems. Taking the wild fruit handed over by Frand, Yu Xiao quickly ate it as the sweet juice flowed into her throat, giving her a feeling of resurrection. How do you feel? A faint fragrance blew in, and Lu Erlong quickly appeared beside Yu Xiao Jiang, asking with some anxiety and concern. It's okay. Ha! Huh. Did you break through? Yu Xiao Jiang was surprised to find that Lu Erlong had increased his soul power by one level, reaching level 37. Generally speaking, one can see through the opponent's soul power at a glance, but in terms of soul power level, it needs to be at least 10 levels stronger, and at least one major level is necessary. This kind of soul power gap will bring about a greater spiritual power gap. Unless there are soul masters who specialize in spiritual power, but they are almost invisible. However, Yu Xiao just glanced at Dugu Bo and found that she couldn't see through his soul power level. It is obvious that I do not have the eye power of purple extreme magic eyes, and my soul power cultivation is still too low, nor do I have a head soul bone. Just having a huge spiritual power is like a scattered sand, even if there is a spiritual power comparable to that of a tidal dolua, it lacks the magical use and ability of others. To put it simply, chubby. However, with strong spiritual power, Yu Xiaojiang is still very happy, and this step is not wrong. At this point, the remaining nine immortals, through his spiritual exploration and perception, could roughly sense which ones were effective for him. Or rather, it is the instinctive desire for immortality that arises from the body and martial soul, although extremely weak, he can barely sense it at this moment. The medicinal properties are gentle, and the Qi Luo Tulip and Eight Petal Fairy Orchid, as well as the Qi Rong Tong Tian Ju and Shui Xian Yu Ji Gu, which strengthen the muscles and bones, are the four immortal products that the body craves the most in his induction. Even for the semi-dot-finished ninth grade purple mushroom, the body and martial soul have a greater demand for it than for coxcomb phoenix sunflowers. As for the flame apricot jiao shu and octagonal black ice grass, they are directly discharged from the outside. Damn it! Is that so? Yu Xiaojiang felt a bit helpless. In fact, he was the one who most wanted to absorb the flame apricot jiao shu and octagonal black ice grass, and then enter the eyes of Liangyi to quench his body with ice and fire. In this way, his physical body can definitely reach a very high level. Moreover, although these two immortal products are highly poisonous, 
they are actually the energy core of the Ice and Fire Dragon King. With their help, one is most likely to break through their physical body in martial soul, and get rid of their current trash talents. However, there is also a significant risk in doing so, and with his current body in martial soul, he may not be able to replicate Tang San's path. Moreover, these two immortal products are mainly quenched, which may not be able to transform Luo San Pao due to their ice and fire immunity. The safest and safest route should be to absorb the eight petal fairy orchid, followed by the Chiloa tulip, which are both gentle and nourishing fairy products. Most likely, help Luo San Pao transform his martial soul. However, the help to the physical body is very small. Chirong Tong Tian Chrysanthemum and Narcissus Jade Bone mainly enhance the strength of muscles, bones, and body, which should also be of great help to the martial soul, but the effect may not be as good as the first two immortal products. As for the ninth grade purple mushroom, Yu Xiao Jiang has never considered it. In the original work, Yu Xiao Jiang, although taking this half-step immortal product, broke the shackles of being unable to cultivate and eventually became the Four Rings Soul Sect. However, his martial soul is still Luo San Pao. No matter how impressive Luo San Pao is, he is still a farting pig. Moreover, it is unlikely that the ninth grade purple mushroom will completely transform Luo San Pao and become the pinnacle of the Soul Emperor, unable to cross major levels and become the Soul Saint. Just absorbing a fairy plant that solidifies the foundation and cultivates vitality, Yu Xiao Jiang is really unwilling to accept it. The most important thing is that an immortal plant that solidifies the foundation and cultivates the essence has little help for the physical body, and there is no guarantee that it will definitely make Luo San Pao break through into the Golden Holy Dragon. Yu Xiao Jiang was in a state of confusion, with thoughts constantly flashing in her heart. Having stronger mental power makes his brain's reaction and thinking speed several times faster than before, like a supercomputer. Quickly, a bold idea flashed through his mind. Except for the looking through autumn water dew that enhances spiritual power, as well as the flame apricot jiao shu and octagonal black ice grass that must be absorbed simultaneously, the other few immortal plants can only absorb one plant. The reason for this is that the immortal product is too strong. After humans absorb it, their bodies are transformed by the immortal product, and there is no room for the second immortal product to be transformed again, which will conflict with the previous immortal product. Simply put, one mountain cannot tolerate two tigers. But where are the three tigers? Two tigers crush one tiger. A fierce light flashed in Yu Xiaojiang's eyes. If I go all out and first absorb an eight-petal fairy orchid that solidifies the foundation and cultivates the vitality, and then simultaneously absorb the flame apricot jiao shu and the eight-pointed dark ice grass, can I succeed? A solid foundation cultivates vitality, enhances martial soul, and later the two great immortal products strengthen physical fitness while further enhancing martial soul. Under their combination, Luo Sanpeo's martial soul is bound to break through successfully. Of course, if I fail, I would probably explode and die instantly. It may also be frozen into ice or burned to ashes and annihilated. Yu Xiaojiang gritted her teeth and finally made a decision. Take the eight petal celestial orchid first. If Luo Sanpao cannot transform, then take the risk of taking it again. Blaze apricot jiao shu and octagonal black ice grass. Either from a martial soul to a physical body, completely reborn, with an endless future ahead, or die without a place to bury oneself. Anyway, this life was also picked up through time travel. Boss Fu and Sister Erlong, let's perform the martial soul fusion technique again. Yu Xiao Jiang said seriously. He wants Luo San Pao to once again feel the power of the Golden Holy Dragon Soul, find the direction and feeling of transformation, and increase the possibility of success. Okay. Frand and Lu Erlong did not hesitate. In fact, after using the Martial Soul Fusion technique, they can also feel some progress in their own Martial Soul. Especially Lu Erlong, her fiery dragon Martial Soul, can feel the power of the Golden Holy Dragon. 
Yu Xiaojiang first used a jade pendant to pry out the eight-petal fairy orchids from the soil, kneaded them into a ball, and held them in her mouth. Then, the three of them displayed their martial soul fusion technique. In Dugubo's shocked gaze, the chubby and adorable Luo Sanpao quickly transformed into a powerful golden dragon. Ten seconds later, the golden holy dragon disappeared. Yu Xiaojiang sat down and quickly refused the eight-petal fairy orchid, striving to refine it with all his might. End of this chapter